What does it mean to watch and observe your thoughts, feelings, and mental images, and mind chattering without division, conflicts, attachment, and identification? In fact, your feelings, thoughts, emotions, and mental images are obtained from your own memory archive, from what your brain have registered and memorized from your own past memories. This is who you are. Any attempt to separate yourself from your memories will always result in divisions and conflicts. You can't escape or run away from yourself. Any attempt to hide, reject, hate or deny yourself by any means whether by forms of pleasure or by forms of pain will increase this division and conflicts and aggravate the situation. So what can a person do when these thoughts, emotions, mental images, and chattering impose serious disturbance and put on obstacles towards personal goals and well-being? Does a person need to rage a war against his or her own self? Does a person need to surround her and continue living in hate, regrets, and remorse or does it requires the person to be smart, intelligent, and wise? What will happen when a person learns to simply observe and watch his or her own programming and conditioning without division, conflicts, and distortions? Of course this process requires the person to be mindful, aware, and fully conscious of his or her feelings and thoughts. To watch them as it arises and as it starts to take forms and shapes, the key point in the process of observation is simply to watch those emotions, thoughts, images, mind chattering and not to react to them, not to entertain them, not to argue with them, not to register them or to replay them back. Simply observe them as they arise and as they fade away. The moment you take action whether physically, intellectually or emotionally by trying to adjust, correct, Reason or even ignore them becomes a trap, an endless loop and an empty circle which will only consume further efforts, time and resources over and over until nothing is left to consume. Remember you are dealing with imaginations, illusions, mirage. Your attention is the fuel which sustain their existence. We need to understand that the mind is composed of many layers. Some are deep and others are hidden and unconscious. They need to operate in harmony, synchronization, and coherence. Any attempt to grasp, control, or seize any part at the expense of others will always result in divisions and conflicts. Personal development, mental health, and emotional intelligence is as important as the physical one. People are paying great deal of attention and using many resources to develop their physical well-being. Best sports gym, best quality nutrition, personal hygiene and expensive tools and materials while ignoring totally their inner self and leaving it to circumstances, chances, randomness and to anyone who claims knowledge and authority to program and condition them according to their plans and agendas. Isn't this what people are trying to escape from at first place? To free themselves from all sorts of addictions, attachment and dependency. When people are learning observation and mindfulness, they are simply developing, enhancing and helping themselves. This is the next level for personal development. The purpose of this practice is to simply use consciousness and awareness as a tool to keep away from addictions dependency, attachments, and identifications. To be confident, independent, and free. To deduct available resources and energy to our well-being and the well-being of others. Please note this is an open discuss and dialogue to investigate and to raise questions and to find out rather than to be told what to do, to be dictated, and to be instructed. To follow blindly and to consume anything simply because it has labels and tags on them. So, isn't it wise, smart and intelligent to adopt habits, to always go to the sources, to question and to investigate? 
Therefore, in this chapter titled Observation we are questioning and investigating the standard of measurement, the scales, the labels, and the names which authorities have designated for success, happiness, health, wealth, and well-being. We have been conditioned and programmed since childhood to imitate and repeat without questioning and investigating, but once we became adults, many questions arises without answer, which effectually drives people towards more confusion and ambiguity. People often left with two choices, to go back to their familiar programming and conditioning, or to explore the unknown and unfamiliar. So let's summarize what we have discussed and put it to question and investigation. Our feelings, emotions, thoughts, mental images, mind chattering, fears, worries, wishes, and desires are derived from memory archive. From our past experiences, this is who we are and we can't escape them, but we can learn how to deal with them and how to handle them. Any form of separation and division will always lead to conflicts and distortion. Observation can be a powerful tool to watch feelings and emotions as it arises and as it fades away. This will help to see things as they are and in their original forms and shapes. Once thoughts comes in it always deviates and drifts the person from the real nature and the true purpose of the things observed. This is like watching a mirage, a shadow, and an illusion. Once a person tries to control, grabs, and manipulate them, he or she will falls for them and deceived by the M. The brain, by default, react physically to mental images and mind chattering as if they are real and present here and now in the moment. The brain actually think in images, and it can't make difference between real and imagined pictures. Once the brain sees an images, it immediately sends signal to the nervous system to be alert, vigilant and ready to fight or to flight. This is of course very stressful and exhausting, especially when the enemy is imaginary from past memory archive. So simply observe and watch those feelings, thoughts and images as it raises without any form of identification, comparison and attachment. Once you react and respond to them, the body will immediately start to experience changes like muscle contractions, increase in heart rate and body temperature, impulses in chest and abdominal area, heavy breathing and disorientation. So again, just watch and observe without interaction as it fades away and disappears. Remember you are the fuel. Your interaction is what sustain and keep those images and emotions going on. The more you react, the stronger it gets. This is called emotional intelligence. In the next chapter, we will discuss and investigate further details about emotional intelligence, how it works and to apply it as a tool for personal development.